We are, uh, we're here to announce that we've reached an agreement on the state budget. So I want to specifically thank uh, Speaker Charles McCall. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, Pro Tem Treat, thank you for everything you've done getting this across the finish line. Our appropriations chairs, uh, Chairman Wallace, thank you so much. Chairman Thompson, thank you. And uh, the vice chairman, we have uh, Hilbert uh, from the House and Senator Hall. Uh, thank you so much for all your hard work. Also want to thank uh, my team, Secretary Brian Bingman. Secretary of State Brian Bingman was in the negotiations with the House, the Senate. Just did a fantastic job of helping, uh, uh, helping there. And our new state CFO, Amanda Rodriguez. So uh, thank you. Welcome to the team, Amanda. She did a fantastic job. Uh, we hired Amanda back in in uh, November, and uh, she's really done an incredible job of helping bring uh, uh, two sides together. Really appreciate her leadership digging in also with all the other state agencies. Uh, I'll let my colleagues in the legislature go into more detail, uh, but I'm very, very pleased with how this budget came about, uh, came, came together. In the state of the state, I talked about the people's agenda. And in the people's agenda, we laid out three points. Uh, number one was to make Oklahoma a top 10 place for business. Number two was to deliver Oklahomans more for their money. And number three was always to invest in our fellow Oklahomans. And I believe this budget has accomplished all three of those items. Number one, it lowers taxes for every single Oklahoman. Uh, it lowers taxes on working families by restoring the earned income tax credit. And it brings our corporate income tax to top 10 lowest in the entire country. Uh, this is going to help us retain corporations uh, here in Oklahoma and also attract new corporate headquarters to the great state of Oklahoma. It helps us recruit new jobs uh, through the money that we put into the Quick Action Closing Fund. It invests a record amount of funding, a record amount of funding in our uh, public schools. For the first time ever, we're investing more than $3 billion from state appropriations into our education system. That does not include the investments uh, from property tax dollars from around the state. This budget also raises the cap on equal opportunity scholarship funds, giving parents and students more choices. And I'm so proud that this budget also saves and puts back $800 million in savings and bringing our savings account back over $1 billion, keeping us protected from anything that happens to us in the future. Again, uh, just a big, big thanks. These people around me uh, for all their hard work, uh, my colleagues here in the House, the Senate, uh, Speaker McCall and Pro Tem Treat for, for all your hard work leading your caucuses and getting us to this point. So I'll turn it over to uh, Pro Tem Treat for uh, a little more uh, details and some comments.